What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we're at it again. I've got a video here, obviously. This one is a little more simple. I'm just trying to work on my apartment, make my apartment better. So today I'm upgrading this fan that I have in my bathroom. And it would be this fan here. It's got a dog hair all in it. It's just really not that good looking. It's just not good at all. So what we're doing here is we are changing from that to this thing right here. Now this is a Honeywell power air circulator fan and this thing works really good. So obviously I'm going to show you why it's really good, but we're also going to have another mission here. And that is really just showing you how to turn this really good dumb fan into an awesome smart fan. And we're going to do this by using the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug. Now I made a video about this earlier and I'm going to link that in this video so you can go ahead and check this out. And I actually went more in detail in that video. So if there's anything that I don't cover here, check that out. And then if you still have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Now I also want to mention anything that I buy off of Amazon. I did start an Amazon storefront page and I'm going to drop a link for that in the description below so you can check out all the stuff that I've ever bought and you can buy it yourself. So talking about the fan here, this isn't my first one. This is actually the second one I bought. That's how much I love this. I have another one of these Honeywell power air circulator fans in my living room and that's connected to a smart plug. So this isn't entirely new to me, but I wanted to share this with people because this is fascinating. You're taking an appliance like this and plugging it into an outlet and you're controlling it by voice with a Google Assistant using this. So let's go ahead and unbox this fan and really show what's great about it. I'm just gonna go say it. I'm very excited about this. I know it's just a fan, but this is life improving stuff that we're doing here. And of course we're pairing it with the TP-Link smart plug. So this is gonna be very, very good. So here we have the fan. And this is actually smaller than the fan that I have in my living room. Now, what I like a lot about this fan is that it pivots. So you could put this at this angle and it'll blow the air straight up, or you could put it straight back down and you can hear that it clicks. So when it clicks, it's gonna lock firmly. Now this fan has three speeds here. We've got one, two, three, and then off. Again, pretty simple. And it's supposed to be really quiet. And I can tell you that it is very quiet. We're actually gonna plug this in and run it right now just to show. All right, so I've got the fan plugged in right now and we're just gonna put it on three. Now this is all the way up. This is the highest speed. It's very quiet. It blows really good air. It's just an amazing little fan. And again, we can rotate it when it's on. I just like the design. It looks a lot better than this thing here. Let's go ahead, take this to the bathroom, plug it into the smart plug and go ahead and use it. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom and as you can see, I've got my TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug right there and it's already set up from the previous fan. I was using that ugly box fan and obviously we're going to be using the new one. Now I'll throw in there for reference, I am using the Google Home Mini to control this. I've actually got the Google Home Mini in my living room there. Uh, you probably can't see it, but that's what we're controlling it with. But you can do this through a smartphone or even the Google Pixel Book. And again, if you want more details on what it takes to actually set this up, I did make a video of that and I'm gonna drop that in the description below. So you can just know what you're getting into, but this isn't anything that's really hard to set up. Just takes a little bit of time, some patience, and it's totally worth it because it's going to improve your life. Okay, so where this comes in handy is this area when I'm away, it's really for Neo. He's the Pomsky, he's my dog. So we take the fan and we place that right there. And again, takes up very little space. It'll give him some good air you know, when I'm out and about or when I'm at work. And this is amazing because I can control this through the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug, whether I'm at work or out and about, you know, it doesn't matter where I am. I'm controlling it remotely through that smart plug. 
and we're keeping them cool. Okay, so it's actually time to run this, show it off, show how cool this is. And I get excited about this all the time. I've been doing this for a while with all kinds of things. I've got the light bulbs as well by TP-Link, the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi LED bulbs. And it's just magical every time. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in here. And of course, it's not gonna run yet because we haven't asked the Google Assistant to turn it on, which is what we're gonna do now. Now, the most important thing before you try to do any of this is you gotta have the fan actually turned on before you give the command, or it'll just turn on the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug, but not actually the fan. So anyways, let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, Google. Turn on the bathroom fan. And I mean, it's just magic. It's amazing, it's beautiful. It's just so, so cool. So anyways, I wanted to kind of demo the living room too. That's running right now. The dog actually likes to sit right there. He gets really comfortable. So let's try it out. Okay, go go. Turn off the living room fan. Sure, turning off the living room fan. Now with the smart plug, we can actually turn on both fans at the same time, or we could turn them both off at the same time. We'll just make sure that they're both on. Okay, go go. Turn on all the fan. You got it, turning on two things. Now, as you can see, I said fan. I didn't say fans, which is what you would normally say. And that's something that's still got to be worked out with the Google Assistant. Because I'm pretty sure fans doesn't work, but let's try it anyways. Okay, go go. Turn off all the fans. Sorry, I don't understand. So just by adding an S to fan, Google doesn't understand. So these are still things that Google Assistant still needs attention with, but it's always getting better. And I can tell you having a fan run right now, it feels really good. And a lot of times I'll be laying down, I could turn it on or off just by voice. Don't have to get up, turn it off or turn it on. It, it's making life easier, taking a really great fan and making it even better. So what does this all mean? All I really think about lately these days is this 2018. We live in the future. We have all these amazing things and it's up to us to use all these things for better, to make our lives that much more easier, to make things work for us instead of us working for them. So this is the best time to be alive. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you can, hit that subscribe button. It will support the channel so I can continue to put out more awesome videos just like this one. The goal is to really just explain all this wonderful stuff going on with technology, share with everyone to get people more aware of what you can do with all this stuff. It's all about making your life easier and making lives easier for everyone else as well. So that's pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.